Fans Project Flame Blast is an amazing little figure. It turns into this awesome white little spacecraft shuttle, and I really like all the new parts that they put on this when Fans Project Reed made this from Explorer. It is a nice size, it's nice, swooshable, it fits good in your hand. It's one of the things I really do like about this. I especially like the black and silver details that really bring this to life, and the little tampographed uh, cockpit there. It does look good next to its contemporaries, that being Munitioner and the other parts of the Combaticons. And I'm told that these are supposed to combine, but that's just a silly notion to me. I don't see how that's supposed to happen. Now, together, all of the Combaticons, including the two Fans Project ones, look really good, especially when you kit them all out with the upgrade pieces, which, again, these don't come with Fans Project Warcry and Flame Blast. I do like, though, that the Explorer mold is designed to sit on the back here. Another thing I like is the packaging. This packaging looks incredible. It reminds me a lot of Warcry's for obvious reasons. The main one that this shares with it is the artwork that is on here instead of just the stock photos. But... You can see all the little differences that they call out here on the back. You can see the really cool poses, how they talk about the new pieces, as well as another really cool piece of artwork. I just love this old Fans Project packaging. It's just so cool and nostalgic to me. So there's not really a lot to talk about when it comes to the vehicle mode with this guy. It's a very sleek and very nice vehicle mode. I really do like the space shuttles. I just like space shuttle transformers in general. But uh, transformation on this is a little simple to say the least. Uh, you do start much like on uh, Warcry by parts forming. Uh, these two thrusters have to come off. Uh, and this one's clipped in there pretty well. And they're just on these little slots that are on these little clips. So you want to take those off. And then the next thing you want to do is you can kind of just wiggle the legs apart like that. And you want to take this uh, tail fin out. Now from there you want to come underneath and untab these which the transformation on this thing is super clever and you just swing these parts uh, up on these ball joints uh, and I think this is a really nice step in the transformation be careful these are really sharp like I, I've poked myself a couple times on those uh, then you want to just come back here kind of wiggle the legs off of those tabs just kind of bring them down take these panels and bring them up and there's these slots on the side right there and this tab right there so you want to just bring those together and bring those together there we go and fold in these leg wings bring them back around take the I just realized you probably couldn't even see some of the stuff uh, take the nose cone uh, I like to bring the hands down just a little bit just kind of get your fingernail behind them and bring them down flip the nose cone down it's pretty loose so it'll do it on itself now here's where some interesting engineering comes in um, I like to pull up on the arm and then that'll disengage this. And as you kind of bring the arm down, you want to rotate this panel uh, and that will form the uh, shoulder guard and the arm. So once again, bring it down. As you bring it down, rotate that panel, flare out the sides, the little popped collar. And then much like on uh, Warcry, flip this up, flip this out, make sure you click it in place and there, Oh, almost forgot. Uh, so you can, on this guy, you can take these little canisters and you want to make sure that they uh, open, because they do open. You want to make sure they open back and tab them on to the appropriate leg. That is an unfortunate bit of parts forming, but um, it is, it is what it is, and that's just how it's going to be. Give him his little, not little, you can give him his cleaver here. And there we have the very awesome and very intense looking Fans Project Flame Blast. Putting Flame Blast into robot mode really, really shows just how good this figure is. The nice new purple gets revealed from the vehicle mode that wasn't originally there. You can really see the poses that this guy can take. We also get some gray, some nice white paint apps on there, some more silver gets shown off, and it's just such a nice, nice figure to pose. You can see how it handles its weaponry. You can see how the head just has so much range that it can emote basically however you want it to. It can take on almost any pose. And standing it next to some other figures, such as obviously Fans Project Warcry, it looks good with that, but it also looks good by kitting out the helicopter Energon mold, the tank mold from Energon, and 
lastly but not leastly, the uh, missile truck mold from Energon. And I think that these colors with these two look really, really good. Despite the fact that I kind of cobbled this crew together from just random eBay posts. So getting down into articulation for this guy, he is almost just as poseable, if not more so than um, Warcry was. Uh, real quick, do want to get a, you guys a good look at that head sculpt. He has beautifully big sculpted blue eyes and a nice, nice mouth plate with the, a little bit of cat hair on him. <laughs> and he has this nice head crest on there. Very, very cool. But yeah, he has a very emotive ball jointed head where he can get uh, lots and lots of range out of it so really really and it can really kind of tilt down to get that angry look um, going over here these do move out of the way they are on ball joints very clearly which is really nice so you can kind of have them flared or at the side they're very very nice at getting out of the way uh, but the shoulders are on ball joints so they go 360 unimpeded because this little panel slides in and out of the way uh, they come out right there, but you can also cheat it because of transformation, so that's really nice. He has uh, double double jointed elbows, although it's kind of hard to fully take use of them. Um, he, just like uh, Warcry, he has a hinge there and a ball joint there with no wrist swivel, but that ball joint does kind of provide a pseudo wrist swivel. Uh, again, like Warcry, he has a ratcheted waist swivel, uh, although this one, it's a, little, it's a little loose. It's weird, right? Like you guys can kind of see... That wibbles a little bit. The legs go forward about that far. They come back pretty unimpeded, but get stopped right there. The legs bend a little deeper than 90. Uh, he has ball jointed ankles, so they can go up, back, uh, and they can tilt. They can tilt. Lots and lots of range in that. So really, really good posability on this guy. You can get crazy, uh, crazy good poses out of this guy, especially when you start utilizing uh, his accessories like his... Uh, tail fin sword um, right there uh, and while I'm here I do want to show off the other feature that these little leg canisters go uh, you'll notice in the kind of the beauty shots that he had some pistols well if you open this up inside the pis inside the little canisters are the pistols yeah and they fit nice and into his hand you can't unlike a fans project like Springer and their uh, other guy the assaulter uh, you can't you can't have him like Draw. Oh, maybe you could. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. You totally could. You totally could. Oh, never mind. Uh, I was told he couldn't pull that pose off, but no, he totally can pull off, like, a tr retrieving it from his leg. So that's incredible, yeah. And, yep. Looks fantastic. Looks amazing. Uh, yeah. Articulation's great on this guy. All in all, I think Fans Project Flame Blast is an amazing little figure with a lot of desirable traits, such as the new Space Shuttle Alt Mode, which is a more desirable vehicular form than the Explorer is, in my opinion. He looks fantastic and stands out on his own from that original release, as well as including some really cool accessories with the double pistol, the new sword accessory, and I think he's worth adding even if you don't plan on doing a Bruticus or Bruticus display. He's a really fun little figure, and if you can find him for a good price, I definitely recommend him. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. This has been Bot's Obsession.